I just, I don't know. I was like, Tortoro has broken a lot of uh, usual Dragon Ball tropes with um with this piece right here. However, I just can't see. You have a healer coming. You have MUI on the table. You have Goku being trained to slowly perfect UI. And then you have the inevitable guy comes in and can't actually save uh, the Z Warriors, but he can give Goku more time to heal. This is a tried and true formula for them. I mean, I just can't see his ending with Goku not using him by. The prophet himself. Bitches from heaven. Back with another video about anime slash manga slash weeb shit. And I got it right. Great chapter, really. Mirrors is resolved. I think in the second we saw Mirrors pop in, we kind of all knew what it was. Um, funny technicality that uh, Toyotaro used that we'll be going over today. But the tried and true Dragon Ball formula continues on for another arc. We'll cover that later on. As it starts out, um, I thought it was funny, and I came to the realization that outside of Goku and Vegeta, no one else knows that Mirrors is like, on another level strong. They just think he's fast as shit, you know. And that's all he ever thought he was. Just fast as hell. So, I believe due to his angel powers, I want to say. It may just be his raw strength. Um, the thing... I think... I He he used the, the staff, right, last chapter. He used the staff and broke into it. That's how he got in last time. So he did that, grabbed everybody, and I guess got back out before Mirrors even noticed. I mean, before Moro even noticed. Uh, thankfully, after this chapter, I don't have to go back and forth that mirrors moral thing. Uh, but, but uh, you know, spoiler alert. Uh, but yeah, so that's what occurred. Got in, got out before moral notice, and you can even see it. Uh, Jocko, who also has incredible vision, as we've been told several times, also didn't see him. And uh, this little line is worth noticing. Uh, I'm aware. I've only come to finish some training. Who was training? Jocko asked. And then mirrors responds, Son Goku's. So, yeah. Uh, it kind of gives you all the indication you need. And then, uh, Mirror Speed blesses Moro, pulls out a pole, uh, very reminiscent of, uh, the power pole, and, uh, actually. And he just starts whacking him with it. Uh, so the power pole season returns. Um, I mean, this is our first time seeing an angel, like, move. And even though he's a, like, I, don't, I believe the power scale amongst angels, and I think Whis and Vados are among the strongest. Um, we see that this angel here is easily stronger, or at least at least faster than uh, Moro is, who was beating the shit out of UI Goku, <laughs> for, for comparison. Uh, after a while, beating the shit out of UI Goku, and also watched stronger version of SSB Vegeta, uh, after this form he's achieved, uh... So it would appear that so okay so he came in I guess as a favor um I guess they all came in as a favor to save the guys from being murdered and in doing that they pretty much I don't they didn't cheese the system any more they've already have but I guess it, even if mirrors if mirrors didn't try to convince them maybe they would have all died, but I, it appears that they do these things like as, you know, something they just want to do for themselves at, at this point. You know, they say the same song and dance. You said they were coming to Earth, eat some delicious stuff, blah, blah, blah. I think Weiss has... He, he seems to be very partial to the... impartial in the way the angels are, but does seem to have a little bit of leaning towards helping the humans. I would say he has more lean to helping the humans than Beerus does. Now, I know Beerus helps him more than, you know, because it's, it's, it's his own volition at the end of the day, but I think Whis has his own innate desire to see Goku and Vegeta succeed, um, and we'll kind of get why in a little bit longer in this, a little bit later in this chapter. And, uh, yeah, so we says, or Beerus says, hey, I feel like we're missing somebody where it's Beerus, and Whis gives the same old, you know, you know, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dende saves everybody. Uh, Goku realizes pretty quickly what's what that means. Um, the technicality is still applied, and you see why the technicality means so much because 
Moro uh, kicks out Mirus's super staff. Um, and at this point, I believe the damn it means that Mirus came in with the 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 idea that he couldn't possibly attack without using it. He couldn't use his actual hands to, I guess, attack uh, Moro. Or you can still your true strength. What's the meaning of this? Why rely on a tool? A tool. Uh, you, you'll still find one thing if you want to read other manga. Uh, Dragon Ball is very laid out. There's not much details that the narrator keeps from you. Uh, unless it's for the, the sake of revealing them in another chapter. But there's not like higher learning language used. Or just higher language I guess. Higher language used in this series very often. Uh, it's very plain text, plain speak. Even if it's something that seems like slightly confusing, like, is Mirrors using a super staff just to fight? Um, I mean, literally, this, this page, these two panels right here, it would seem like I'm still intact for right now. His idea worked, and UI Goku comes back out. Cool to see that we got to a point between uh, Mirrors' training and everything else, and Goku can just activate UI Goku. However, uh, as it is now, I mean, it, for whatever reason, uh, imperfect UI Goku just is completely unable to, um, to fight. I, I don't know if it's because he's not as strong as he normally would be. I don't know if it's because Moro is just way stronger than he was. But for whatever reason, um, uh, I, I think it's because he's not really, like, tapping into UI in its totality. Um, and I, I don't know, because even Imperfect UI, like, could kind of go back and forth with Jiren for a while. He just couldn't do any damage. So it was like, it was still strong. And it also was able to duck around, uh, Kefla. I think it's just odd that at this moment in the juncture, he, um, his Imperfect UI can't even, like, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Mir uh, Moro, which may give us an indication that Moro truly is stronger than any bus we've seen before. But I just think that, I think it's just more hats that get, that got us to this point that it is like, Moro is like legitimately stronger than Jiren. But uh, yeah, back to this. Uh, one last push to trigger it. Again, another confirmation. Uh, he tries to absorb the abilities of an angel and... The staff comes in, just washes that. Uh, once the staff is awakened, they are notified pretty soon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like Mary should start using angel powers. Are you sure about this? Uh, as you know, Lord Beers, I do not act except under your direct command. You sneaky little. <laughs> so the Grand Priest is going to be pissed at me. So anyway, we technically did not disobey um, the orders of the Grand Priest because he... Did watch Mirrors for the most part. However, he also convinced Beerus to go to Earth. And along the way, he lost Mirrors, quote-unquote. So, Weiss is okay. Uh, but Angel, you know. I was born an Angel meant to maintain a neutral position of good and evil. He's not doing it now. At this point, it's just raw. I'm beating the shit out of this dude. Uh, he seals his copy abilities. Uh, which would obviously help later on in the battle. Which th This is the thing that... This is one of my questions I had when I saw uh, 73 Absorbed Moro. Is that, like, this copy ability of his still doesn't have any kind of, like, equal to this point. And this was the equal. <laughs> this, this is it, right? This was it right here. So even if the universe is ravaged or destroyed, I'm only supposed to sit back and watch. Um, however, throughout my time working alongside the Galactic Patrol... Something blossomed inside of me, a sense of justice. Now, who does that sound like? An angel who, while doing his duties, those duties might be different. But an angel that, well, let's not say angel, but an angel slash god of destruction that gained his own sense of being or purpose outside of what you're predetermined to do. Who does that sound like? This is why Grand Priest wanted to clamp up on uh, Mira so much. Because he was the closest thing to Zamasu that was coming up. However, he was an angel, which is far stronger than um, Zamasu. Uh, <laughs> you left Mira's behind knowing this would happen. Again, everything that you could possibly be 50-50 on, Dragon Ball is going to feed it to you. Um, 
there's not going to be any kind of indecisiveness. It's either going to be sooner or later. Now, this is pretty cool to me. This reminds me a lot of Naruto panels and Naruto the anime, where you have these conversations, these deep conversations, and while they're happening, it's like this flashback. It doesn't quite switch off to a different scene entirely, but it like plays in the background while what's happening is happening. And this right here, if you've played Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle, this would be a fire card. This would be a fire card. Like, a L, like LR Mirrors probably is unrealistic. But if they had LR Mirrors, that would be fire. That would be a fire card. Or maybe you have an exchange Mirrors. You could have Goku. And then some exchange attack happens where Mirrors comes in and sacrifices himself. And then Goku transforms. Dokkan, hire me, please. I just gave you free money right here. Um... But yeah, he comes in and he breaks off the last uh, ceiling, like the copy thing in his head, uh, the co copy bubble, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so now he's unable to copy. I don't know if this means that he loses all of his powers. I imagine so. I don't know if this means he also loses 73. I don't know because he made 73 from what I understand. Uh, but yes, final quote. Goku, should you achieve Ultra Instinct with your current strength, it would be far more stable than ever before. I guess that means even Jiren. Uh, you will not fall to more, nor to anyone else for that matter. <sighs> Listen, man. Uh, two years, I think a year ago now. Uh, over a year, a year and a half ago. Saying, oh, well, 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 how, how would anyone ever be Goku now? He's fucking UI Goku. He's UI Goku. He's MUI Goku. Listen, they're going to always find some way to make somebody stronger than Goku. It may be temporary. It may be until Goku can find some other hacks. And even, like, they they speak to it in a chapter. Like, uh, yes, despite their wicked deeds, you prefer not to end their lives. Why is that? Reforming villains in the Galactic Patrol takes a... Oh, wait, hold on. Because if they rise up to do bad stuff again, they could become stronger by then, right? I mean, like, that, that, that's it. I mean, it doesn't matter. There's no... Like, you are Goku... No matter how strong UI gets, there's not going to be a flat cap that no villain can reach. There's never going to be that. Even when UI is always going to become some higher level. And some people are okay with that. Some people would rather have it to where UI can be the final transformation, but Goku just trains more and more and becomes stronger in a sense without transformations. Some people prefer that uh, to transformations. I do too. Um, I would also just prefer, like, they just make other people relevant. Maybe that'd be okay. Like, make it to where Goku is incapacitated and do something like the Cell Saga. That'd be cool. Uh, I just don't know whether to have Goku win every fucking fight. Like, I knew I knew the second that that chapter ended where, the, where Vegeta went out that he was not going to be the hero of his arc. It was just that easy. I just, I just, they couldn't even give him a fucking win. Like, it, this saga has been going on for two years. They couldn't feel fit to just let Vegeta have a W. I'm not a Vegeta fanboy. I'm not a Goku fanboy. I, I'm i not really a fanboy of Dragon Ball much anymore. I mean, like, I was, like, as a kid. But as with many people who watch Dragon Ball as a kid, you get older and you kind of don't feel the same fascination towards certain characters in the, in the series. Outside of, like, Trunks, um, I mean, I, I guess go on whenever they let him be decent. I'm not really a big, like, like even close to stand anybody. Yeah, I love Trunks' character. Uh, Rose was amazing to me. Uh, Topo was a well-designed character. Um, Zamasu was a cool, like, support. Uh, I thought Hit was kind of, like, badass initially because you had the time skip. And then, and then you have now part five. Time has been very big. Uh, Attack on Titan. Time has been very big as a, a villain. Uh, a villain's ability in, in anime for very recently. So that's cool that that hit was there, but I just I, there's not many characters, and especially with Dragon Ball Super, that I've been enamored with uh, recently. So I, I like mirrors. I really like mirrors, um, and I think that mirrors need to be featured in here in some way. I was hoping for a different way than the way we got them, but when I saw the previous chapter, I pretty much realized what it was going to be. Um, and yeah, um, we also has been pushing for Goku to improve UI. So it makes sense that he let Mirrors. He knew Mirrors was going to do something crazy one, one day or the other. Uh, these angels pretty much know, I don't want to say know the future in the absolute, but they have a pretty good idea of how things pan out. And he pretty much knew Mirrors was going to go one way or the other at some point. 
So he aided in the common goal. He wanted to see UI improve as well, obviously. Uh, and so it happens. Uh, we are probably going to get SS White again. And I thought it was a good chapter. Um, nothing that was, I guess, I didn't expect. Um, it was cool to finally see Angel fight. It's been about five years now since this series has been going, and we finally saw an Angel fight for real. Um, so we know that at least our comparison, this is going to be good for like, some pairs of people, like analysts, all that stuff. Um, we know that Angel, even a rookie Angel, is pretty much the absolute peak of mortals. Uh, what well, well, transcends the peaks of mortals that they can naturally achieve. I guess, in a sense, UI wasn't naturally achieved anyway by Goku, just in training. But we know that there's, uh, there's a clear gap between an angel and... If there, if if it wasn't for the sake of, of limitations, Beerus would have died by moral hands. I mean, it would have been that easy. So we know how that works at the very least. Uh, it's quite a confirmation on that, I guess. And, yeah, I thought it was a decent chapter. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't really have any predictions that aren't obvious at this point. I mean, MUI Goku's going to come out. He's going to kill Moro. Um, I think Moro's going to be the guy that did something that's just so helpless that... No, matter of fact, I think, he's gonna, I think Goku's going to be pushed to almost kill Moro, and he's not going to do it. Now, I don't know what the prediction I should be give, giving... I don't think that Beerus or Whis will fight. I think Vegeta might have one more moment in here. That's significant, but that's about it. I don't think Gohan and Piccolo would matter. Um, yeah. Peace.